Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. Good morning, I'm Tim. It is like 70 degrees right now, and it's going to be 75 here. Yep. And it's only, it's new. Yeah, awesome. So we're doing a day of eating, um, or we're doing a day of showing what we eat. Today. Enough of this small talk. Yes, we're going to do a day of eating where we're eating today. It may take you to the, to the hiking with us if we can make our way out there, right? Because it's so beautiful out. In the meantime, before we get to that, uh, we want to thank our subscribers, our Patreons, and our uh, PayPal supporters. Uh, our financial supporters are uh, the ones who help us get the show together, get the message out to the public. There's a link below. If you want to join us, we could use your help, right? Yep. Uh, and also, people who comment and have left po positive messages and shared how you watch us. I mean, we just think about that throughout the week. My favorite, my nice. favorite, I forget who it was, but she, she wrote, um, I mean, it might have been a male. I'm guessing it's a female because that's most of our followers. She wrote, uh, oh, it's Tuesday. Joey and Tim are coming to visit. I love that, right? Uh, like, we're coming to your house and being like, hi, how are you? What's going on? Let's share our or, lives. Or right? my husband and I, we get our coffee, morning coffee to watch yes, the show. Yes, that's right. A couple said that. We so, absolutely love that. On Tuesday, that's yeah. what we look forward to. Um, hit that like and subscribe button below. Uh, help us make more videos. All right. So okay. we're going to take you along for the day with us. The first thing we want to do is we're going to make, like, a scrambled omelet, right? Yeah. And my family, I wouldn't say this is starch solution compatible, but go ahead. My family loves, can you show them what it is? Just stay, right? And I, you get maybe three, three. servings out of that yeah. for five or six dollars. It goes really fast. And Lex will eat like that whole bottle in one shot, yeah. right? Yeah, and what we notice the ingredients are our base, the biggest ingredient is mung, mung beans. beans. Yes. yes. So we did a search for a recipe. We're going to try this today to make a uh, mung bean scramble instead of to using tofu, right? Yeah, we've never done this before. I mean, we use this stuff and make a scramble, it's fine, but we've never just made our own, right? And I can tell you that even at the $5, we're lucky if we can find this, right? Like, they're never around. Yeah. All right, so grab the mung beans over there and let's show them what we bought. So, uh, what is this? This is a split mung bean. and comes in as mong doll, doll meaning bean, right? I guess so. I mean, we go, we go to the Indian grocery store and uh, if any of my students are following, they could tell me, but uh, this is split yellow, split beet mung beans, mung right? Beans. Yeah. We have a bag of whole mung beans from from Costco, but those are green. These are, this is the inside of it, right? It's yep. split open and, this, and it, the intake is yep. taken out. Loaded with, uh, uh, protein and fiber, so. Yeah, it's got all the benefits that beans have. So that's a, a whole food right there, right? Because this needs to be soaked overnight, um, it's sort of the idea like Friday night, asked, hey, do you want overnight oats tomorrow, which right. is an overnight thing, or yeah. do we want to soak mung beans? Uh, so that's so it doesn't seem overwhelming uh, if you yeah. think so about it that way. That is what, yeah, what Tim's talking about is for this recipe, you have to soak these things overnight. So this is a cup of these beans right here, and they like, I mean, this is like triple the size, right? Yeah. So it gets really big. We just, like we were saying, we decide the night before, hey, tomorrow, do you want to do oatmeal? And if we're like, no, no, I want to do a scramble, then we are just like put these in the water overnight and let them sit. And then this morning I rinsed them out. I laid them out on a towel to dry. Right? Exactly. And or, that's it. Or you look in the fridge and say, we've got some spinach to use up or yeah. something like well, that. Well, that's right? kind of what this came along. Yeah. I've got spinach, I've got tomatoes, I've got all these things I have to use up. So we were like, well, let's make an omelet. Yeah. Right? So again, it is a one cup dried yes. mung beans and then you soak them and then the outcome of that is what you use. I know it looks like a lot here, but it's not. So. This whole thing is made in the blender, right? Yeah. So let's jump, dump it in the blender and get started there. All right. I know some of you are with me when you say that's my kind of recipe. Blender recipes are amazing, right? We're using the recipe from, we're using Rose's recipe from uh, Cheap Lazy Vegan because I absolutely love her and yeah. she's already done all this work, so why bother? So what's next on her recipe? So, the so we're gonna we're gonna try it. We're so gonna use a cup of plant milk, right? One cup of plant milk. We've got oat milk. Yes. Yeah, so we're just using oat milk for this. Perfect. Okay. All right, so next thing we've got some nutrients. We just buy our nutrients in bulk at Sprouts and we keep it in this big glass container. Uh, so nutritional yeast, how much, whenever I say nutrients, people are like, I followed your recipe. I don't know what you mean. Nutritional yeast, how much do we need? Perfect, two tablespoons. All right, so we're gonna pop that in there. All right, so that's all we need of the nutrients. Uh, we need a half garlic a is next. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, which I got right here. And listen, I know this is empty. I don't want you to go to the and get three more. I've already got a backup, so don't find any more of that. All right? Super, all right. I have no place to store all these. You ain't gonna put it in here. All right, let me get rid of this. All right, so onion powder is next right here. Here you go. Let's pop that in. All right, what's after that? Okay, turmeric. All right, turmeric right here. Perfect. All right, so turmeric right here. One of the things that I got for Christmas from Tim was these square uh, tape, uh, spoons. And I love them because 
you can open the bottle like he just did with the turmeric bottle and they fit into the bottle, right? Yeah. Whereas most of my spoons, when I have to measure something like a table, a teaspoon, it won't fit in the bottle. I have to like shake it on, right? But this one, I can stick right in. All right, what's up? All right, so the next one's black sea salt. Uh, all right, so let's this talk is the one, about the This is the one that bar. scares Joey a little bit. So every time I put a recipe out like this, people are like, you know what, you need to look into Kalakamar, whatever it's called, black sea salt, right? You're gonna love it, and it gives you that eggy sulfur taste. The reason I didn't eat eggs before is because of that taste. Hang on, hang on. So that has to be like a sprinkle, or I won't eat it. Okay. It's, it, so that's way a, too much. So instead of a half, we're at a quarter. Even that's way too much for me. All right. All right. I always feel like... We can always add this in, right? Yes. You so guys what? put it on. Um, I don't like that sulfury, eggy taste. So to me, the slightest bit is overpowering. Anyway, we're going to put that in there, and then what else do we have? All right. So we already got the onion, right? We got some baking powder, baking right? Baking powder. All right. So yeah, a teaspoon of... How much is that? One teaspoon. A teaspoon of that? Okay. All right, so we have all our ingredients in here. I think it's time to a little do a mix and mixy. All right, you're gonna go to the blender and do a little blendy blendy, right? Yes. And let's see what happens. All right, so let's see what that looks like. All right, we've blended this for about a minute and a half. Okay. It kind of has that same consistency that just egg would have. All right, so it looks blended, right? Yeah, it's yep. liquidy. It's blended. Yeah. Right. This is about the consistency of just egg, so I think I think we're good on this. Just as an FYI, so you could make this and store it for about four days in the fridge. So you can make this ahead of time and be yeah. ready. All right, well, so I think we've got this blended, right? Yeah. So we're gonna set this aside. Yeah. Let's saute some vegetables. Yeah, let's saute some vegetables. Okay. Move that over. Okay, so we've got our mung bean mixture. Now we're ready to just throw in some, or saute some vegetables. Um, I cut up what we sort of had in the refrigerator, right? So a little bit of onion, a little bit of tomato, so a little bit of oyster mushroom, and spinach that we need to chop up as well. So that is ready to go. All right, you can't really see, but there's a little bit of steam coming out, so the pan's hot enough. So okay. let's let's throw your stuff in here, especially the onions. Let's get those in first. Uh, and Sounds good. Let me reach those. Yeah, and okay. see if uh, we can get them going. And once they start like sizzling, we'll throw the rest of it in. Let's move these around a little bit, and they'll start like sizzling here in a minute. When that happens, we'll just throw everything else in. And while we're doing this, do a quick shout out to one of my students, Julia. She walked by. My classroom has a bunch of windows that look out into the hallway. And I looked up, I walked by, and she was doing this, and she was wearing my, uh, uh, where do you get your fiber shirt, right? She was oh, wearing nice. my merch, and I was like, yeah, baby. So shout out to Julia, thank you for that. Yeah. You can see the steaming happening here. We've got the, the onions are starting to saute. Let's get everything else in uh, and let them do their job. Look at all this goodness. That's the colors of health right there. All right, perfect. It's gonna be a nice little uh, scramble here for breakfast. We've got all these veggies right here. That's all our non starchy veggies, right? Well, the mushroom doesn't count as anything. It's just a fungus. But so we want the mushrooms to kind of release their juices and and uh, the tomatoes to break down. And when that happens, it'll be time to throw the egg mixture in, the eggless mixture in, right? The, I guess we can call it the mung bean mixture. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So another shout out uh, to my work wife, Bahavna. Uh, she's the other computer science teacher. She got me these storable uh, containers for Christmas this year. Star Wars, yeah. They're all Star Wars. Like this one's got like C-3PO and R2-D2 on it. Uh, and we've got Chewbacca and Boba Fett and some other characters. And they're two different sizes, right? And uh, they got the covers, right? Yeah. Like we can always use bowls with covers. So like, you know, I, I, I worked this started in August, right? And then, uh, uh, December comes along. I mean, they don't really know me that well yet, but they know enough. Bahava knows enough about me to know that I have anything to do with uh, cooking and storing food. So, shout out to you. Thank you, Bahava, so much. All right. So, I think we're here. So, everything's broken down. The the onions are brown. The mushrooms are kind, kind of much smaller. The the spinach is is definitely like wilted and small. I think we're ready. So, let's grab the uh, the mung bean mixture and see if we can get that dumped in here. Okay. We're just going to put the whole thing in. This is about three servings, right? And you and I can eat a serving and a half. Yeah. We're, uh, yeah. We're also planning on going on a hike, so I feel good. Like, we've got a big day ahead of us. Maybe this is a lot. <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of, of mung bean egg mixture. This might have been too much. We're making the whole thing. You probably should not. It really cooks down. Let's just wait and see. All right. But I think we're going to be happy with this. All right, so you can see here, it's all, it's starting to brown. You can see the stuff is brown right here. Uh, everything's cooked. So I think we're here. Let's give it a good scraping again. And I mean, this looks like a beautiful scrambled uh, veggie egg thingy, right? Yeah. There's some big clumps and I just want to make sure that that 
It's cooked all the way through. Yeah, that we. <laughs> but it looks I mean, good. With us, it's go big or go home. You should use a portion of that because when Rose made this in her video, she had a bunch left over she could put in the fridge. But she's only cooking for one, right? Yeah. But no, uh, look at the vegetables seem distributed. Yeah, no, it looks great. But there's a lot good. here. Like this is yeah. way more than for one person. It's a big pan. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're big guys. All right, let's plate this up and give it a shot. All right, Tim's just scooping some of this out and putting it right into a plate for us. Looks nice and scrambly, doesn't it? It looks good. Looks like a big a big portion of scrambled eggs. Uh, let me have, uh, we don't need to put all of it. That's a lot of food, even for the two of us. Let me have the pepper. I like plenty of pepper in everything I eat, so. Tim likes it to be spicy. Uh, ooh, that's a lot, just a little bit. That's a lot of sriracha. <laughs> yeah, it's a dipping on the side. I don't know what to expect here. So let's see how it tastes. Okay, dig in. Yeah, like I've had just egg many times, so. Yeah, and you look at it, you don't even notice the mushrooms are in there, do yeah. you? I was gonna say, considering I don't like mushrooms, I don't know. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. You can't taste the black salt. So no. if you're a black salt lover, you'll want to sprinkle some on like right before you take it out. Yeah, we definitely, I mean, we use less than what mm -hmm. they, the recipe called for. Yeah. This is good. Hmm. It's not light and fluffy. Eggs, eggs would be a little chewy, but still, this is rewarding. Like I like scramble. I like having mm. these vegetables like this. This is a great way to start the day. Yeah. And I'm surprised. I'm sold. All right. That's breakfast. Uh, we were thinking about maybe doing some hiking. Mm -hmm. I have a drone. I'm gonna see if I can get it working and so we can take it with us. But I real I've never used anything like that. You know, so I don't know if we'll have your own footage. But so a bit we'll, of adventure today. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, All right we'll, we'll see, see you we'll back at lunch. Or at a hike. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. All right. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. We are doing the hiking thing up here in North Phoenix. It's a beautiful day, and uh, we're ready to make it happen. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I have taken like, I don't know, a hundred steps, I'm already out of breath. You see so, uh, air right here? What air? It has like a carpet of green in it. Let me see here. All right, we're halfway there, you're doing good. It's only, we've only been walking for a half mile, right? Which is like three blocks around our neighborhood, if we were doing that. And I wiped out, but at least I got my cactus friends. Yep, we're gonna keep it going. All right. Woo! A lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays Way back a year ago
like a year ago. Thanks for getting me out on a hike. That was awesome. Oh man, the hike was so good. Like, what a beautiful day, right? 74 degrees, sunny. Like, yeah. we haven't had that in a long time. I know we're in the desert, we get a lot of sunny days, but it's just been rainy and cloudy for, I don't know, yeah. for weeks. Two miles hiking is different than two miles walking around yeah. the community. So I was wiped out. I sweat in the whole bit. But I am so I'm hungry. I'm looking forward to our next meal here. And I also don't know if I'm going to be able to get three meals in. Like this is our second meal today, right? It's ten to five, right? And yeah. breakfast kind of filled me up. We did that yeah. that uh, hike. So let's get this. I feel like we should make this as filling as possible. Yep. Yeah. Right. We might do a light salad tonight, but we'll see. So we'll see. well, for now, okay. uh, let's make this. What we're making, we love. We're all about a one pot pasta, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do a uh, a kind of a creamy pasta in the Insta pot, right? Yes. All right, so I think the first thing we're gonna do is put, we got some veggies we're gonna saute. So let's get the saute button on right here. And oh, hey, oh, oh you can show them the veggies. Yeah. All right. so you throw I, them all in, I'm like, whoa! I spared you seeing my knifing skills. So anyway, we just got some onion chopped up. Sorry, <laughs> Yeah, so we got our, 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 our onions. One onion. Yeah. 16 ounces of? Uh, six, a 12 ounce pepper. can of ro roasted red peppers. Yeah, yep, chopped we up. Cut up some broccoli. Cut up some broccoli. We had some squash to get rid of. Yep. So we got some, and five cloves of garlic. Yep. yep. Yeah. Looking good, right? So there. we're going right. to get this sauteed now. Yeah. First, let's get some water in the Instant Pot. I just put it on saute and I'm putting a little bit of water in there. All right. So you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see this, but there's steam coming out. So let's, we're only going to pre cook the, we're going to saute the onions and yep. the garlic. Onions right? and garlic. All right. So let's pop that in. did such a nice job on this presentation board here. Look at all those colors, right? Like that's the colors of health right there. I say that a lot, but you know, in this way no, of cooking, it's always- I so do good. love it, yeah. Remember when we first met, my became, I was a vegetarian and you were like, what are you gonna eat? You hate vegetables, right? Like I couldn't eat any of this stuff. And I love it all. Yeah, you've come so far and then just looking in the fridge now, see what we have, buying the produce we need. Yeah. Yep, it's nice. All right, so, uh, that's doing its thing. You can see here that, uh, let's hope we don't need that little fan thing on. You can see here that it's uh, cooking up here. It looks really nice. We basically came up with this because we've got stuff like we have to use, right? That we bought last week, like spinach um, and some veggies, uh, the squash that we're about to throw in. Like that stuff needs to get used. Yep. Right? All right. Looks like we're ready to activate some seasoning. All right. So let's put in our seasoning. We've okay. got a, uh, we've got a, what do we have here? We've got a uh, two tablespoons two teaspoons of oregano, uh, a teaspoon of sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper. Yes. Let's pop All that right. in there. And then you like to activate the seasoning first by mixing them around and getting them heated a little bit, right? Yeah. All right, so at this point, we can cr shut this off, right? So saute going so off. Look at a minute, and we're gonna deglaze the pan here. All right, so take a little bit of this broth, not sure. little, just a little bit, just enough to deglaze, right? All right, that's good about there. And let's take our spatula and kind of get the fond off the bottom there. Is there any flavoring coming off down there? There wasn't really much, so okay. we're good. All right, so that's looking good right there. All right, so let's add uh, the broth here. We've got four cups of broth, so let's pour Perfect. that in. Okay. I mean, it's what's left of the four cups after you just put in the uh, other little bit. All right. Yeah. All right, so we've got our broth in, Joey. Okay, so right. next we're putting in our pasta. We're just using this... Uh, the Garofolo organic pasta, and we get them at Costco in the big bags, right? So right. let's drop that in. For this recipe, we're looking at how much time cooks this pasta, right? Yeah, so we'll go into that. All right. So, so we've just poured our pasta. I, yeah, I've got, not stirred so much, I just yeah. leveled it out. And it doesn't need to be covered all the way, it just needs to be in there. Okay. All right, so here's the next part that we're gonna do. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna throw our veggies in and we're just gonna kinda lay them on top. So let's do that next. And we're not going to stir. You know, I've never gotten a burn warning, right? But okay. other people have, and it comes from stirring all this up. So I always stir it up and there's never a burn warning, but because we're making it for everyone else, that we're not stirring it, we're just kind of leaving yep. it on top, all right? All right, so I'm kind of leveled out the vegetables. Right. All right, so our vegetables are leveled off in here. Again, I didn't stir up the whole thing. I just kind of wanted them in even. Now I have some nutritional yeast. And is this a quarter cup it looks like? Quarter or cup of nutritional okay. yeast. Quarter cup. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top. All right, so here's how we figure out how to cook pasta in the Insta Pot. Tell me. You take the bag of pasta and it tells you the directions. Okay. Ours said 15 minutes, which is a long time. And you divide that in half. Okay, so 7.5. 7.5. Now you're supposed to round down to the nearest whole number. 
But since it's 7.5 and not 7, I'm going to go with 8, eight. right? And I'm going to half that, and that's four, 4 minutes. So that's how long I'm cooking this. So we're going to turn this on. So at home, depending on the pasta or gluten-free pasta you're using, look at that total amount of cookie time and then divide by half. So, uh, And no. then another half. Okay. All right. Uh, this, let's set this to seal in position. And, what, what do you want? Uh, four minutes. Okay. All right, set to four minutes. The uh, pressure thing is on sealing. We're ready to go, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll let this come to pressure. Uh, and then once it's done, we'll we'll talk about what to do next. Yep, sounds good. All right, so the kind of the pasta is cooking, but it's, I mean, all that stuff we put in is not gonna make it creamy, right? Nope. So we're gonna do a little cream sauce that we'll put in after we do a quick release on that. Perfect, right? All right. okay. I think what we wanna do here is we wanna start with some of the PB2 uh, cashew powder. Um, if you haven't used this yet, it's a picture of it right on the screen right here. It's just like the powdered peanut butter, but it's powdered cashews, yeah. right? PB2 uh, makes, you know, that. They make powdered almond powder, right? And it's just dehydrated and doesn't have, it's like 80% less fats than the cashews. I love it, right? We've got some cashew butter I made out of the PB2, okay. right? But I don't want to put that in first because we throw that in the blender first. It's going to stick to the bottom of the yeah. blender. All right, first, let's put the broth in. So we're going to add uh, one cup. Looks like one cup. Of broth, right. And we used, uh, what's the stuff we get that we throw in the water? Uh, better than bouillon. Uh, and we did, it's just a teaspoon of that mixed with a cup of water, right? Yeah, I think we get the version at Costco. We do. If you look on the regular shelf, some of them might have oil. This one doesn't. This one so doesn't. Right. Just we, be mindful. It's right. not all the same. Not all. The, they have more than one vegetable. Yeah. And that's correct. Uh, the second thing we're going to put in is uh, three tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. All right. Will that pop out by itself? Oh, yes. Good. Well, good. And then we're going to uh, put in, see if you can spoon this stuff in, uh, the, uh, it's three quarters of a cup of cashew powder. Uh, sorry. It's three quarters of a cup of cashews, but we're using cashew powder. All right. To make the cashew butter, I mixed uh, three, what did I mix? A half a, a, half a cup of uh, powder, cashew powder, okay. and then one uh, quarter of a cup of water because it's two parts powder one part water gotcha all right so just take this just the way it is we're going to put this on the blender and blend it up and see how it goes all right all right so this is perfect it's nice and creamy look at that right so that'll get poured into the saw so into the pot when it's done and that'll heat up and uh become uh nice and creamy because it's cashews right i'm so hungry yes the timer just went off we've released the steam let's see what we have in here all right, so let's give it a good mix here. Yep. Can you see all those vegetables? Yeah. Let's mix it all up. Oh, yeah. That looks nice and cooked, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, that looks great. Holy smoke. All right, so I think at this point, we can probably pour in the cream sauce, right? Yes. Looks awesome. Okay, so pour that in. Spoon and all. Yes. Get every drop out. Just kidding. Well, you want to get all of it. That's like the love right there, right? Actually, it flows out pretty good. So, all right, all right. I'm going to give this a stir. Yeah, no. Coat we'll everything the, up. Then we'll so. throw the spinach in. I can take the spinach now. Are you ready for the spinach? Yeah. All right. Well, this is looking so yeah. creamy and delicious. All right, so we want to throw the spinach in while it's hot and just kind of mix it in and let yep. the cover sit on it. You've washed this already. Oh, so yeah. Thank you very much. I don't throw anything in without cleaning it first. Yeah. So you can see there, spinach is in. We're just going to kind of mix it in. We'll and, fold it in here. Fold it in and give it some time mm -hmm. to wilt. We'll throw the cover back on. Just let it sit there, a jar, and let it do its thing. So right now we're just kind of mixing it up. Wow, that all looks delish, doesn't it? All right, let's lay the cover on top of it. Let me get you a spoon right thing. This is nice. So this needs to wilt a little bit. So in the meantime, here's a spoon rest. Lay that on. Let's just lay the cover on it, and that'll help the... Like a jar kind of thing, just like that. Time yeah, to get the play settings done. Yeah, let's just give it five minutes and let's set up. Yep. All right, so you can see right in here, right? Like, that looks amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. The cream sauce looks fantastic. The spinach is well thing. Look at those colors, the green, the reds, right? Like, this is like an amazing dish. I yep. can't wait to try this. And somewhere there in there is uh, broccoli and zucchini. Right, yeah, so. somewhere from <laughs> in the bottom, right? So it is an all-in-one dish, right? Yep. So, the dish up? Yeah, so let's dish this up. So hang on, let's move this out of the way. All right, so let's uh, dish some of this out because I can't wait to try this. Yes. I love me a good pasta, right? And, you know, people like that, you can't have pasta, you can't have, you can absolutely have pasta. Pasta by itself has, is not a lot of calories, right? Just when you put like 
I don't know, like Alfredo on it or any of that stuff, it becomes a lot of fat really fast. But here... You've used heavy cream. Yeah, I mean, yeah all that stuff. It just becomes too much. Uh, but pasta itself is just wheat, as long as you're using the wheat pasta. It's not a lot of calories at all. You can absolutely fit it into the starch solution. All right, let's give this a shot. I can't wait to taste this. Yeah, for sure. Now, our basil, I went and get the basil in the refrigerator and it's wilted, so I'm gonna try it without anything first. It's really good. Holy smokes. Mm. That good. Wow. Oh yeah. So the roasted red pepper is it, a must. It really adds uh, a little flavor to this. You put some pepper on it, throw some This is uh, some- Oh, basil? Basil, All right, throw dried some basil. basil. Yeah. All right, I think that's good. Just an accent. It's hot. And then just added a little bit of nutritional yeast, but this you, is- You don't need it. You don't like, need it. It's yeah. totally coated. It's yeah. delicious. Mm. Wow. All right, so this is a nice size dinner. Mm. Like, actually, this is lunch. I know, but it's late lunch. Yeah. Um, this is going to be our caloric. Yeah, I feel like we're going to wind up with two meals. Why don't yeah. we do Yonanas later on? We can. Yeah. So stay tuned for our next snack, meal, <laughs> dessert. Okay. Yeah, this is meal number two. We're not sure what's coming after this, but. But it's uh, time to get Lex down here and have yeah. some lunch. So. All right, see you in a bit. Thank you. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back. We, we ate really late, right? So. Uh, we're still not hungry and it's pretty late. Uh, it's after but, eight. But that pasta was so good. It was delicious. I we think have, I just I like over two, ate. I had two servings of it. So, but, but now we're like, it's late. Probably not time for a salad. We're just yeah. gonna have a little bit of Yonanas. I think I love Yonanas. It's kind of like a little treat at the end of the day for me. Right. And, uh, you know, it's just fruit. So uh, if you've never done Yonanas before, it's a little machine that you put f uh, frozen fruit in and it goes like and does its business and makes a uh, sherbet out of it, like a sorbet. Um, and it's really good. You, yes. can use, you can use your Vitamix, your blender, but I mean, we got this thing. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so, we haven't had a lot of fruit today. This fits no, the bill. It's so. perfect. Yep. All right, let's turn it on here and see what happens. All right. All right, you control the cup. I'm going to feed it, okay? All right. This is Seymour. I think he needs a warm up. Okay. That's good for me. Alright, so Tim's gonna cut up some fresh banana on here and just kind of lay it on the top. Normally, when we make this, it's never messy. Uh, but because we use these decorative bowls, because, you know, this is a fancy show. So uh, we wanted it to be nice, but really we put a just a cereal bowl underneath and it goes right in and there's never a problem. So I wish we had done that now instead of trying to make this look all we nice have, and fancy. We have you guys as guests. We wanted to go a little bit extra. All right, do you have a spoon ready? Yeah, let me get one. All right, let's dig into these and have a little dessert here. Uh, you know, this is a really great machine. Um, it just kind of gives you the whole at-home ice cream thing. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Normally we uh, use frozen bananas on this uh, and then we maybe put one or two strawberries in. With mostly the strawberry and the bananas on top, the strawberries are very like tart, right? Yeah, but it's a good combination. It's delicious. Um, the only frozen bananas I have are the green bananas mm. and that doesn't have the good. flavor that we're going for, I think. No. Oh. Because you need something to counter the tartness, you know? Mm. This is good. And it's great because you know you're eating something healthy, you're just eating fruit, right? All right, so you know, not this to finish off the evening, a little bit of dessert action, right? Yeah, we just got our walk in. We just walked two miles, plus we did the, 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 hike, the hike today, so I feel like I got plenty of exercise. It's been um, a good Saturday. Yeah, we're going to plan on going hiking tomorrow, too, because it's supposed to be really nice, right, for Sunday. Yep, so. and then I'm going to do mung bean um, scramble again. We're just going to add less to yeah. the veggies. Yeah, when you make a scramble, don't add the whole thing like we did. That was way too much, right? Like. It was just way too much just saying. It was good, but there's, you can definitely do, do too much of a good thing. Yeah, right? and then we'll be fighting over the pasta leftovers for lunch next week. I'm gonna bring that to lunch and film for one a of little my- little salad, side salad. I'm gonna film one of my days of uh, teacher edition. All right, so that's our video for today. Uh, please hit that like button, show us some love. 
click on the subscribe button and click that bell and you'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. Have you had your Nonis before? Uh, I mean, it's been around for a long time. You know who turned us on to this? Nini right? Girl. Nini Girl, right? She was like, we're having your Nonis. I was like, what the hell is your Nonis? And then Joey got excited. He goes, one more appliance. I, I so no. I was like, no, we don't need another appliance. But then we bought it and we were so happy. So shout out it to Nini for, for turning us on to this. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.